All right, so um, question about a person that owns a Sefer Torah, does not have space in their home to place the Sefer Torah in a dignified manner, because we know that near a Sefer Torah, we cannot get dressed, we cannot put it in a place that's not conducive for the holiness of a Sefer Torah. And so, uh, that person would like to place the Sefer Torah in the Aron Kodesh, in the synagogue, may he or may he not, kind of impose that on the synagogue, to host the Sefer Torah in their Aron Kodesh, not allowing them to use it, just to park it there because it's a dignified place for it until he finds out what to do and where to place it. And um, this would be a if they have space in their own Kodesh and it doesn't get into, uh, doesn't get them into issues with space, uh, he may ask them and he may kind of demand that from them. Why? From Ze Ne'ene, Veze Lo Chaser. He is Ne'ene, he is. Uh, deriving benefit from it, and they are not chasel, they're not losing anything, and not only that, if he really doesn't have a place, it's almost, that we can almost force them to agree and say yes, to host the Sefer Torah, because not only he has a uh, requirement to um, bring or have honor to, and kavod to his Sefer Torah, every single Jewish person has, uh, shares the equal re requirement of having kavod and dignity to a Sefer Torah, and if you can, then you are asked to join that. Another question is, in terms of space, what happens, uh, today it's very difficult to do this, but um, some people used to flying on uh, an economy, suddenly see an empty seat in uh, business class, and uh, the flight already took off, and a couple of empty seats over there say, hey, let's go uh, grab a seat in business. It's uh, open anyways, why not sit over there? No, one, no one's gonna buy it now, nobody's gonna purchase or upgrade a seat now in the middle of the flight on in the, in the sky. And so uh, the question is, are you allowed to go ahead and just take that vacant seat or not? And the answer is you are not allowed. Why? Because even though they're not losing any monetary loss right now by you sitting on that show because they cannot sell it to anyone. However, they are losing a lot because we know that they are makpidim. They are very specific about selling these seats for a different price and everybody over there knows that if anybody could just hop on those seats in the middle of the flight, then people may stop purchasing or paying more for the business class seats, so you're not allowed to. And if you did, you have to pay the difference of fare. Both Amen. Even if it's not fair, you pay the